What's up, guys? It's Paul Russell. I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here at Front Row Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out backstage at Jingle Ball with Paul Russell. How's it going, man? Hey, it's going well. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day. You are doing big things from the bedroom to a major pop star now, dude. Hey. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> It's been a wild journey, man, for sure. <laughs> so as far as this journey goes, you're here tonight at the Village Stage. Jingle Ball is a very special place for me just because I get to discover new artists, but also like I get to see artists that I've been a fan of for some time. Yeah. What does it mean for you to perform on this stage tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's nuts being in a place like this. And I mean, for me, you know, I was working a day job yeah. like, boy, like three months wow. ago. And so to be, you know, on a Friday, like, yeah, I'm going to go perform in front of a bunch of people yeah. and just have a good time. It's, it's insane. No, I'm loving it. That's so cool. And your song has been everywhere, viral, just everywhere. Lil Boo thing. And I want to talk about that creative process. Like, diving into this song, how did you start that process for it? Did you have the idea in mind? Was this like a session that you went in and it just kind of happened? It, well, honestly, the song, when I first made the little, like, 20-second clip that I posted <laughs> on social media first, it wasn't meant to be a song. It was just like a little piece yeah. of content in my eyes. Damn. So I made it in my bedroom. It, it was like, it was a freestyle over the, and I just picked the clip that I liked. Yeah. So that part of it took no time. It took like five minutes. And then <laughs> people loved it. And it was like, OK, now yeah, you need to make work. a real full song out of it. <laughs> and so then it was the whole process of going. So yeah, but I mean, it's cool for me that it was so organic. Yeah. You know, seeing something just kind of randomly like have a life of its own has right. been beautiful. But that's a lot of pressure, though, now that, like, now I have to do a song. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so what, when you work on new material now, do you go to your, like, TikTok audience and kind of see what they're feeling? Does it also give you more pressure knowing that they really love this song? So the pressure to make something else, to follow it up, is a little scary? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely pressure. I mean, I think for me it's been just, like, keep creating, you know, and, like, over time, making things that, uh, you know, are, are going to at least tap into that same thing. So yeah. I have some more music that I'm super excited about that I've made since Lil Boo Thang that will probably be coming out in the next few months. And so nice. for me, it's been just about, you know, staying at it and yeah. then just trying to not forget the, like, mental place where I was when I created right. the first song and try to, you know, stick with that. So. Now, this, this song, as you move forward to new material, where do you see yourself as far as, like, the songwriting goes? Do you, feel like, do you feel like you're gonna open up a little more with your music? Do you feel like, I don't know, where are you at? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot I wanna do, you know? Like, I think uh, I like making music that feels nostalgic in some way, whether it's just like the types of instruments being used or, uh, you know, just the way that the song, I'm thinking about the song. Right. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, doing that to like show different sides of myself is kind of the goal, you yeah. know? But I, I wanna make stuff that's happy and that's positive, because I feel like, there's a need for more of that in music in general. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep doing that. But the rest, I'm just, you know, trying to do as much as possible and, you know, paint a picture of myself to people. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you have LA show and New York show next week. Yeah. What can fans look forward to on these shows? Wow, they're gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> a, a lot of music, playing some unreleased stuff, nice. playing some stuff that, you know, I've just made in the past and have, have released. And so yeah. it's gonna be cool. It's my, you know, my first time doing a real full show that's just me, and so it's super exciting to like create a world for people. So I think I think it's gonna be fun. Dope. Well, Paul, congratulations. Super excited to be talking to you. To to wrap this up, we're celebrating the holiday. So do you have a holiday tradition that you do back home with the family or friends? Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, just like going home and like we'll do like stocking stuffers together on Christmas Eve. It's always a good time because there's nice. always some like stupid, funny <laughs> things in there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Awesome, yeah. man. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with hey, me. Thank you. Guys, you. Be sure to check out Paul Russell. Little Boo Things out now. New music coming soon. Thanks for watching on Live.